I've owned a video camera since I was 18 years old. From the Vault Friday is where I dig deep into my archives to present footage that without YouTube would otherwise go unshared. Source material for this footage ranges all the way from Super 8 reel, VHS, 8mm camcorder, Hi8, Digital 8 and Mini DV camcorder. And I've also set myself a rather silly little German rule. No new content is to be used in this. So here's some more footage from Fairfield that my brother shot while we were skating. Now this time it's just people we don't know who's riding. Although I do know who this is. This is Shane Serena. Redmuff. The man behind the Revolution Action Sports Concept Vert Ramp, which you've seen plenty of times in my vlog. And uh, there he goes. Now I'm just showing this little clip here because I don't know who the skater is and I don't think anyone, I mean, it could be someone's mate for sure, but I just wanted to show this angle of the ramp. This was the anti-ramp at the back there. Good fun, good little fun ramp. Now who's up here? That's Chris Sale from um, also from the Shire. You'll see him riding again later. Have a look at how many people are hitting this ramp. Man, that was skateboarding in the 90s. Look at that. Just everyone going for it. No, it looks like it's an out skate, like keep skating and see. And then who owns the skate gets to have the run. In this case, it's this guy. If someone knows who he is, please let me know. No, he just didn't get that fair bit of fakie on there. Here comes someone else. It looks I think this is the, um, I'm gonna say we saw this guy on the vert ramp earlier but I'm not hundred percent certain uh, and when I say earlier I mean in the other video that I've done in this series looking at the vert skaters who I couldn't identify um, yeah he's uh, I can't tell if it's the same dude it could it might be someone else it's the same day so there's every chance it could be the same guy nice rock and roll there Look at that, he used the entire ramp. I mean, I'd, I'd be tired by then, yeah, I'd be worn out. Even back in those days I would have been. <laughs> Look at that, someone just stole the ramp from underneath him. <laughs> he was still in. Oh, that's funny. Oh, this guy will go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a strange way to start your run. But um, I'm just noticing here again, not a single rollerblader or scooter to be seen. 1990, if we could go back to those days. That would be terrific. When skateboarding, when skate parks were for skateboarding, that's what they were made for. Anyway, my um, scooter situation has been a little tepid. Thank you very much, Scooter Brad. If you happen to be watching this, you're a tool. That guy just couldn't quite make that frontside decker. Now this is Vincent Vicks, and there's one of his filled this ups. I mentioned that um, previously on the vert session. He. That trick's not called a fill this up, that's just called a, I guess it's a feeble smith transfer. But he did them so well, and because he called out fill this up to his mate to fill up his water bottle, and because we didn't know the guy, we just called that trick a fill this up after him. And also we named him fill this up. How's this run by the way? It was a nice ollie blunt there. And just jumping out. And then look, snakes, snakes of galore. Two, two dudes going, nah, it's mine. Who's this dude? Got a nice front side rock there. See when, oh hang on, I'll just cut in here. My train of thought, I'm pretty certain, almost 100% certain this uh, red shirt skater is Mark Courtney Clark. Now, I'm, I'm say I'm almost 100% because there could still be an element of doubt, but I did happen to meet uh, this guy years later um, at Mona, and I talked about these sessions. I don't think, I don't think I showed him this footage, but I talked about these sessions and he, he certainly remembered these days pretty vividly and I, I talked about all the tricks that he did and you'll see them coming up in these runs and he, he said, yeah, I remember doing all those tricks. So, and I just recognize his style from skating vert with him years later. I'm, if someone, if I've got that wrong and someone can correct me, I'd love to know who this ripper is and um, how, how he looks like Mark Courtney Clark. Check his lines out though, he's, he's got, he has this ramp almost down to a complete like I'm sure if there was no one on the platforms he could use the whole thing and, and like more more all over but you got to make way for all the kooks on the side like me and Gav <laughs> if you've seen our video we were pretty lame but that's cool look at this look at these tricks man they're all over the place oh that's a frontside hurricane that's a hard trick look at that straight in this is um this guy had a mean frontside rock before what's he got i don't know who he is if you can identify him please oh nice gnarly pivot there didn't quite get on 
Here's Vincent again. Ah, uh, yes, the chink chink. And I'm pretty certain he got a, um, a trick tips in skating life. It looks like, oh, that was a sick fill this up. It looks like um, that trick tips, if you can recall, probably was shot maybe that week. I mean, he's got the exact same clothing and the same board and the same pads on. I remember looking at that in Skating Life and just going off our nutter, and then seeing it in real life was incredible. Look at this line. Jeez, man, every lip trick you could imagine. <laughs> and he's just getting... Look how comfortable this guy is, too. Like, that is a comfortable mini ramp run. Like, he, he's, he has that ramp under his control. He's just cruising. He looks comfortable. He looks cozy. He's all over the place, like, different lines. <laughs> Just couldn't quite get that frontside hurricane. What's Benchin got for us? Oh, that's unlike him to. Oh, I guess there was someone in the way. <laughs> and straight in, Mark Courtney Flux didn't waste any time. Man, he's come back to the side where the people were. That's strange. Anyway, I guess he's got something up his sleeve. I know what he's got because I've watched it before. I like these. Uh... Oh, oh, that was so smooth. All right, so this. So this is, this is just being cut because we people's heads are in the way, so I cut a lot of that footage out. But um, you didn't miss anything. The, the best parts are yet to come. Courtney Clark hitting the little extension there, the curb, curb block extension. Oh, I love those 50-50 to fakies. That's pretty much why I learnt them after seeing him do them. And Vincent as well. He, he's got a mean one too. That's... Yeah, you can see he's... he's and just Jack jumping out there. It looks like he was going to go across to the anti-ramp. Now, here's Chris Sale. And I remember I asked in um, in the vert section, I asked if, if Chris, if you're watching, let us know if you've ever done a fakey rock um, because of your foot stance, your very unusual foot stance. Mind you, it's not as bad on a mini ramp. You seem to be, you've got that front foot further up, but on vert, you've certainly got it back even further. Is that, that's a Chris Miller, isn't it? I recognize that, that, that graphic. Um, yeah, I've yet to see uh, Chris Sale do anything from a fakie, like a fakie rock or a frontside lip side or something where you've got to sort of put that front foot down. Man, Courtney Clark over the extended platform there. I just love watching this session. Nice transfer. No one else was transferring like that. Here comes Chris Sale. You'll notice he, yeah, he won't do anything from a fakie here. I think this, this run is him trying to get like to try, trying to get the ramp clear I think he's just he looked like he's gonna go over the spine then and he couldn't and again then so he's just kind of changed his lineup a little it's like he's waiting for a, a little helmet check there waiting for a position to open up that's the trouble when this ramp was so big and there were so many people skating it it was always a bit of a you know get in and go for it if you can I recall section um, sessions where they you'd have to wear a wristband and you had 45 on then 45 off and when you were off the other people had the different colored wristband got to skate that's how many people were skating in this day like look at that nice is that going to be a backside boneless looked like it yeah. <laughs> he's having a laugh now he's just toying around i don't think he cares he's, he's not caring either he's just yeah i'll keep going that's that's how i would have skated too just not really giving a shit just was that a fakey, fakey frontside air or something? Yeah, interesting. I think he's ejecting, he's ejected. Vincent's jumped in. What's Vincent got for us? Look at him checking the ramp out. Where, where can I go? Who's on? Get out of the way. Oh, he's going to go for a chink chink grind. That's so sweet. No surprise. Oh, man, I love these cross plant variations. Look at that. Backside, then a frontside one, and, and then later on he does them to tail as well. That bean plant to fakie, man, that's rad. So, so impressive. Watch this to tail. Bam, and then a frontside one to tail as well. How do you like that? <laughs> he liked it a lot. Feel the transfer. Feel this up transfer across the spine. Another spine transfer. Man, I really love skateboarding. I hope you enjoyed that from the Vault Friday. How about that video quality though? Hmm, and if you enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing to my channel here, check out my regular vlog here, and a random regular vlog there, and if you're a photographer, please check out my Lightroom 6 presets here.